Good day to you friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Transport Fever. We're here just idly looking at a perfectly functioning set of docks. Oh yeah, oh and here's a perfectly functioning ship that's running on a line going into this perfectly functioning docks. Isn't this a joy to behold? Yes indeed, I, I reverted a little. The ship is flying. Why is, why is the... Okay, so yes, I, I, I reverted. I apologise. I went back by about six months uh, in order to keep the lines working because I, I played forward by 20, 30 years and, uh, and that farm never gave out any goods ever again. And what's this, I hear you cry? Why, yes, that is a new ship. It's a Klondike. Uh, and the beautiful thing about the Klondike is it takes double the amount of, uh, of resources. So it can carry 100, whereas its predecessor could only carry 50. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic stuff. You you blow your horn for all you're worth, my friend. Now, quit your levitating and uh, I'm back in the water with you. Any time now. There you go. I figure that that is a... Well, I figure it's a bug, for starters. But also, I, I imagine it's to uh, it's to make sure that the, the, the deck of the boat is level with the, 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 the docks. Presumably, in the future, uh, there will be ships that are significantly larger and as such require more space. Anyway, excitement time. Let's get some stuff running. So, um... What I did last time, if you didn't see it, was uh, made a complete hash of things. Tried to move this docks over here. That worked eventually after placing it wrongly to begin with. Um, and then uh, I couldn't get the lines to pick up again. So I built this chap here, which will be working a service that we call... Uh, this could have been slightly more seamless, couldn't it? Uh, yes, I want to buy one. Do I, do I want to buy one? Yes, I do. Right, set line, and this is going to be the uh, the Flint Stone Shuttle. Its aim in life is merely to uh, to move stone from here to there. Yep, I wasn't going to mess with it again after after going back on my you know golden principle of never reverting. I reverted, uh, and uh, its its meaning from life is purely to move stuff betwixt those two. Likewise, I'm going to need another ship. We're going to need another Klondike. Come here, Klondike. This chap here. Now, I, I'm hardly, hardly, heartily, yeah, sure, that's a word, uh, expecting that this will take some time to set up. I'm not sure what the point is at which you trigger the, um, uh, the, the goods kind of being generated. I'm hoping it's, it's, not, uh, it's not too long a wait. Are we going to wait for the money to come in? Where are we going to? We're going to borrow the money. Okay, fine. Right, let's uh, let's get you rolling on uh, Henderson Stone. I have set up these lines already. I'll, I'll show you the lines in full, just as soon as this chap emerges. Take your sweet time, there, fella. Let's turn off some of these. Uh, yes, you blow your horn. Come on. Right, in fact, you know what we should be doing? What we should be doing is this. We should be we right on board here. That's that's a view and a bit, isn't it? Admittedly, it does look like the whole area is flooded, but, you know, we'll, we'll deal with that. Equally, it doesn't look like there's there's actually that much... Uh, there's that much keel distance going on. But, you know, we'll, we'll worry about that in due course. So there we go. We've got our new ship running. Where's it going first? It looks like it's going to go the long way. So it's going to head up all the way from, in fact, if I were to uh, to call up its route here, you'll see it more, much more easily. So from Flint, it's going to round, round the corner over to Henderson North, where there will be trucks awaiting its arrival. There will be trucks. Let's, uh, let's get some of those, shall we? We'll just stick two on for starters, because I'm going to leave them queued up. All I want to do is send to the game uh, an indicator that uh, that this line is fully operational. Likewise, let's have you, you know, branch 
wait until full, please. So yes, the idea is uh, a full load of stone comes rattling around the corner at all, oh, you know, almost walking speed. Uh, drops off here. The stone is then picked up, ferried up to here, which then turns it into bricks, which it then brings back again. It will then load them up onto any ferry that's waiting. It'll probably drop them off over here uh, and uh, and we'll, ha we'll arrange a pickup because I'm going to start delivering food from here as well. Uh, so we'll deliver food from here over to Flint. We'll, we'll get Flint serviced given that it's so close to what we're doing already. Likewise, we'll also have, because you can see it's already set up, we'll also have a service running from... Uh, no, you don't need a new line. You don't You don't need it. Don't need it. You've already got it set up. You're, you're ahead of the curve, man. Right, so we'll set up a new line by road vehicles. Again, just to communicate to the game that this is a thing that we're intending to do. Uh, yeah, we'll just set one for now. And this is going to be on Henderson Brick. So, if this works out well, these trucks here, the shuttle service here, will uh, will pick up some bricks and take them back to the port, while others are whizzed into Henderson. In theory, the 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 smart nature of uh, of good shipping in the early days while you can set stuff to automatic is actually pretty good. Uh, it gets a little more complex uh, later on when you need specialist vehicles, but you just make sure that your, your route is equipped with the, the appropriate specialist vehicle. Likewise, the other thing I can do uh, at that side of things, uh, I might as well show you, although you were here last time, so you know already, uh, is we've got this refinery just waiting for action. And the refinery is in, is not in range of the docks. How did I miss that? How did I screw that up? Or is it? Maybe it's in range of the docks. No, it highlights in grey when it's in range. See? It highlights like that. And not like that. So I'm going to need another. I'm going to need a, a, <laughs> I'm going to need a truck service that just literally takes it around the corner. Never mind. That's, you know, that's more interstitial profits to be made. In theory. Uh, I mean, if that if if I break even off uh, the truck costs running that round the corner, then it's it's worth doing. It's it, but you know that's yeah, that's I mean, God talk about shambolic. Um, anyway, uh, what else shall I do? Um, right, yes, the other thing I'm going to do immediately. Let's set up a, a truck service uh, heading out to uh, heading out to Flint, um, and this first one. We've got stone. We have stone. Stone is happening. Oh, fantastic. Excellent. Right, okay, in which case this is this is actually going to work. I know, I shouldn't sound quite so surprised, um, but there you go, you know, the, the, the surprise is there nonetheless. So I want to get a... Uh, uh, I want to service all of this gigantic blue area here with, uh, with food, which is something that can happen quite quickly. I swear, I'm already making a mental note to uh, to check everything twice before I, I, I place a, any kind of a, a, a dock or a station or anything like that now. That looks pretty good. What about over here? Could, what about a better camera angle? You know, something where you're not going to remortgage my entire life in order to place it. That'll do it. That'll do. Now, what do we got here? We can probably, we could probably do a bypass of some variety. Although, now that I've placed the thing and paid for it, I do wonder about how much space I've got here. The answer? Plenty. Yeah, let's do that nicer. There we go. Although, that is leaving something of a, something of an incline. Let's do that, because I, if I can set up a route that goes around the outside, and one of the comments that I had uh, last episode, episode before, is with the interior placement of, of truck stops, um, isn't there a, a greater likelihood that uh, that you end up with, with traffic problems later on? In answer to that question, yes, definitely. There is greatly increased likelihood of traffic problems, and uh, we'll fix them when the time comes, if we're lucky. There we go. It's not the most it's not the most elegant thing I've ever built, but 
but uh, it should get the job done. Right, let's uh, let's route this sucker up, shall we? Right, from hither to yon. I think some kind of you know better road is in the future here, and actually that's I mean that's a, a truism that's going to stick with us throughout this series is that there are better roads to be had. Uh, but we'll, you know, there's there's some working with what exists already, uh, and uh, and some, uh, you know, we, we roll with the contours just just to keep things moving at all, uh, or rather keep them relatively inexpensive. So let's get, oh, I don't know, two, two, three, three. Feel good about three. I feel good about three. Uh, flint food. There we go. Likewise, given that this is going to be relatively busy, relatively quickly, what what are you going to charge me to? You're not. You you don't give a you don't give a monkeys. There are no upgrade options, but there is a bigger truck stop. I could have built another truck stop, I guess. Ho hum, it'll figure it out or not, as the case may be. Right, let's have a quick look at the money. Uh, the money's not brilliant, is it? Although last year, to be fair, you know, we spent uh, 470, so, you know, with, with, once we take off the deduction of 370, which takes us to 400,000 profit last year, give or take, thereabouts, here or there. So, you know, that's, that's not inconsequential. Likewise, I imagine you just made me a whole chunk of cash. It would have been nice to see exactly how much you did make. Please hold. 235 large. Terrific. Now that's that's the kind of money that we can start to uh, we can start to think about our next amazing scheme, which will be next amazing scheme will be to set up because I'm uh, I mean, what I'm going to do pretty quickly is ramp up food production um, because uh, you know we're at sixty right now and we're you know it's, it's, it's doing okay. In fact, production of sixty. What have you got in stock? 69 in stock. Oh, okay. All right. Fine. Because uh, it just had 100 delivered. Uh, is we want to run a food service down to Indianapolis. Likewise, we want to run another one up to Boston. So we'll have all three of these cities uh, serviced. And I want to do it in such a way that, that over the fullness of time, we can expand and head to Phoenix and Jacksonville, while in the other direction, Salem. Now, Salem's going to prove to be a, a, a might more challenging, and, and the way to roll might be to, to double up the profit on these uh, on the on the shipping by dropping food here and then training out from from the docks over to over to Salem. Don't know. Likewise, a passenger line from Salem to Flint is something that's going to be happening when I've got some money. Um, and I'm at, I'm at a kind of dilemma point in terms of, do I go loan big in order to, you know, try and maximise the amount coming in and maximise a bit of town growth uh, in order to potentially benefit from it later? And one of the things I've been doing, let's let's just find something to look at while we're while we're hanging around. How many people have we got waiting? 116. I need a new train. Um, yeah, one of the things I've been doing. Uh, uh, yeah, just as a kind of a side game is I've been experimenting with starting in 1850 to look for the the, the most effective way to do so and uh, and I hope to have those results before the game launches on the 8th so I'll record that as a as a bit of a special I think um, just to, to kind of show off the the options there look at the vandal and the Mac and a new passenger car all I need is a new loco really New loco would be amazing, uh, but we can get those. Uh, we can get the max in business. But I want to. I want to retire one of these because we are running too many for for Boston to uh, to adequately cope with. Right, set vehicle, Mac, color, orange, and uh, make it happen. And uh, likewise, we, we'll do the same everywhere. Replacement, yeah, it, it, you know, that I could, I could care more about where I'm placing all of these flaming windows, but uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stack them all up, and you can, you can enjoy the view. Uh, we'll stick those on 25 cents guarantee. We get the lot. Otherwise, you end up with queues of your own stuff around the town. And Warren, 
See, look, I said I didn't care, and now I'm now I'm setting these things up to actually look more effective. Uh, orange, yes. Steam truck, no, not steam truck. Mac, orange Mac is what we want. There we go. Yes, happy now. Excellent. Uh, right, we'll keep this one open uh, just uh, so that we can track when it gets into the depot. And then we'll uh, we'll increase the tempo to uh, to mid uh, mid turbo, uh, just to get through the replacements fairly quickly. Now, hopefully, Boston's commuting service will will pick up a little. Uh, that likewise, I might need to move some stops around if we uh, if we take a quick look here. So here we are. Where are we running right now? I think Ash Street and Eleventh Street are far too close together. Yeah, look. So Ash Street is getting... Uh, Ash Street will come into its own if there is uh, expansion in that direction. Likewise, what does Central cover? Central probably covers quite a bit. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I think Ash Street is actually superfluous right now. i got bad news for you, Ash Street. I might be, I might be taking you off the route. Or do we just leave it there? And, uh, and and wait for it to come into its own. I think that's I think that's the more sensible thing to do. Are we done yet? What's your problem? Why are you taking so long? You're 21 years old. Get to a stop and replace yourself. Uh, meanwhile, let's sell that one because we don't need it. Come on, be gone. No, guess not. Select it, then be gone. There we go. That told it. Uh, Warren's commuter service is actually jam packed. Although the amount of the amount of profit it's making is um, is tiny, which means I probably have one more than I need on there as well. So I'll uh, I'll get rid of that one, and then we can uh, we can tell that to cease with its upgrading behaviour. Uh, right, Indianapolis is still going. Are you are you old enough to be replaced? You are old enough to be replaced. So get flipping replaced, will you? Get, get on with it. Right, Boston, we're done. 100%. No, thank you. Get out of my face. Uh, where are you? Indianapolis. Why are you taking so long? Are you taking just, like, the most baffling route ever? I don't need to be in Boston. Let's, uh, let's go over here. We still have three of these chaps who are, who are just wasting my time and yours. Collectively, our time is being spewed away... Actually, that it's not being spewed away. We're we're waiting for the uh, for the, the the stone and brick line to come into its own. At which point, you know, we don't, we set sail for excitement. You're not upgrading because I haven't got enough money. There we go. That was something I could have spotted earlier, but didn't. Uh, let's uh, let's borrow some cash then. Stone me six hundred grand on new buses. This is why I warn people against having too many uh, road vehicles in their fleet from the get-go because replacing them all is incredibly expensive and the, uh, the, the maintenance cost increase over time is significant. Uh, you, you really will you know, do, do major harm to your bank balance uh, if, you're not, if you're not a little more careful than, than I'm currently being. So this is this is clearly one of those cases where you should do what I tell you and, and not do as I have been doing. Ah, oh, I see. This is probably why Boston isn't making much money because I've got an optimism stop. Uh, for those who don't follow my my train fever series, the the optimism stop is basically I'll stick one out in the middle of nowhere that is still, strictly speaking, within town limits, uh, in the uh, in the hope that over time that that will expand. Completely stupid thing to do, uh, but I'm not going to stop doing it. So, uh, you know, um, that's a, kind of a live hit or lump it situation going on there. Okay, here comes uh, the stone stone one. Right. Okay. You know what this is going to be called? This is going to be called uh, the uh, uh, hmm, the CFS uh, Ray. That's right. I'm going to name my ships after after those who support me uh, and uh, and are part of bad company. So the CFS Ray there is uh, is the stone vessel. 
Excellent. Uh, this one was going to be the uh, CFS, so that's the Colonel Failure Ship. Uh, who should we go for? Let's go to Pixelator. Splendid. Uh, bad company, expect more. Um, right, why have you got... Oh, you've got 30 food! The food thing's happening. That's That started... Oh, brilliant! I, oh, I hadn't expected that to kick off quite so soon. But, you know, I'm kind of pleased that it has. Right, let's pay some of this loan back. I want to try and keep my my debt servicing under control. Likewise, once we get down here, you'll see we're now storing three different types of goods. Now, this will have a knock-on effect on uh, on the farm up here if I don't do something about it fairly quickly. Uh, because the docks, presumably, will only have a finite amount of storage for all types of goods. Um, so, it, it, you know, I need to make sure that, that I'm emptying it out fairly quickly. And one of the ways that I can do that would be to, buy, to add another ship to the, uh, to the food delivery. Uh, which is actually, I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, I think in the, in the long term, kind of, uh, of just trying it out to make sure I'm not, you know, headed for, for, for an iceberg. Um, I've actually run three ships, uh, three of these, these Klondike paddle steamers going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth between the two areas and that was only servicing uh what are we talking flint and warren boston and indianapolis required three ships with 100 capacity on each and uh and likewise i had double the number of trucks running up and down here it really was a magnificent sight to behold we can we could possibly afford another stone shuttle here you know uh, by afford, I mean uh, benefit from. Uh, where are we? Henderson Stone. No, Flintstone Shuttle. There we go. The question is, of course, is this actually making any money? And I want them to be uh, to be breaking even, ideally. So that was a. This one looks like it's carrying stone. There we go. So this will be like pennies it will make. Actually, it made three grand. Hold on. I think I might have detected the means of printing money. It, Holy cow. So from there to there, it's like three grand a pop. Uh, let's check the profitability on that line. Uh, Flintstone shuttle, 8.82. It makes money. Oh, that's going to be fun. I mean, admittedly, it's going to it's going to create quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of traffic congestion in that area, and I am going to need to find a way to replace this for a larger truck stop in the future. So, where are we? How much are you selling? That was only two point. What? Could it be? that any interstitial delivery is worth three grand, or was that the stone again? There we go, that was the stone again, wasn't it? Weren't you? Yeah, okay. So it makes eight coming down from there, and if you think about the amount of time it takes them to travel up in the opposite direction, there's, there's, no, there's no competition here. That's, that's, where the cash, that's where the cash comes from. Likewise, I'm gonna put a wait till full on that now. Uh, which one's this? Exchange. There we go. Uh, the reason to wait till full is that your uh, your running costs are significantly lower while you're uh, while you're waiting for a full load. So when you're in motion, your uh, your costs go up. Yes, indeed. Uh, what did I have in stone for the first ship run? I don't think I'll bother telling it to uh, to wait because it will be waiting there for some time. Likewise, if I'm going to have multiple ships waiting, which it looks like I probably will fairly soon, then I'm going to need to think about uh, extending this dock. Let's, will it do three terminals? No. Will it do two? There's a vehicle in the way. A vehicle in the way is acceptable. But two docks is going to be pretty vital, I think. So we won't get a third on there, which could come... No, uh, could... Well, it'll cause a bit of a traffic snarl up, that's for sure. But uh, hopefully as ship sizes increase, I won't need to have quite as many uh, yeah, yeah, vehicles waiting there at the same time. 
all of this, of course, is just, uh, you know, while we're waiting for a new locomotive to turn up, because then we can start to make some serious money from our, our primary passenger line. Are you done yet? No, I'm just, you're waiting for someone to deliver some grain. Right, well, I'm not... Uh, we need to increase the, uh, the tempo here, I think, given that we're upping the... Two, three, four. Now, let's, let's not mess around. Uh, grain and cow. Go, go, go. Get to work. Right, and in order to uh, in order to, to support that adequately, I'm going to get another ship on the go as well. Yeah, see, I'm not messing around. When I, you know, we're, we're, this is rolling. This is happening. This is a thing that's on the go now. Uh, there we go. Grain and cow bulk. Oh, it needs a it needs a name. I, I, I know this is this is going to be uh, the, uh, the the CFS uh, CFS SAS. There we are. Splendid. Good. 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 And over time, we will make sure that that all of bad company have something named after them, and we'll we'll extend that over the next uh, episode or two. You know what? Stop waiting. I've, I've had enough of you waiting. Go on. Clear off. Go on. Trot on. You can wait next time and hopefully we'll get a full load nice and quick. Yes. See, well, you've already got a hundred waiting for the next run. And the congestion up this bit of river is, uh, is significant. Anyway, that will that will about wrap it up for now. The the money's looking pretty good. Uh, the I mean the ships are looking majestic. Uh, brace yourself, they're going to drive through each other. Wish they didn't, but they do. Never mind. I, I, I you know I can get over the fact that uh, that they uh, they can't channel around one another or or drive around one another. That they they don't avoid collisions. Uh, but uh, uh, you know, at some point, I will uh, I will dig into uh, to creating my own map, and at that point, we'll we'll have something that's uh, that's suitable for ships everywhere. And there's the train. That's we're there. We're at the point. This is see. This is it's like I worked it out or something, as if that was ever something that was possible. Uh, thank you very much for watching today. I've been Colonel Failure. Um, we're we're going places. We're getting somewhere. Uh, I mean, you know, let's have a let's have a quick shift. I can't I can't wait until next time. I have to know now. Uh, tell me now. First thing you're going to tell me is I'm going to cost you an arm and a leg, Chief. Uh, what have we got? Atlantic, uh, 1.7 million each. Million each. And I'm going to want at least what are this? That's 36, 72. I want 72 passenger capacity, please. Thank you. So that's what three million five odd million per train to run down my passenger line, but that's going to do a hundred kilometres an hour versus the mogul what I've got on there at the moment is a seventy-five. But that's not. I mean, it's not a quantum leap in difference, but uh, it should be good enough. Anyway, thanks very much for tuning in. Chuck us a like on this one if you enjoyed it. Uh, next time around, we'll be talking trains. Uh, while while monitoring the progress of our uh, our new fleet, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you're not done so already, because that's what people do when you know they feel good about life, uh, as you should at this particular juncture. I'll catch up with you very soon. Thanks for watching again. Cheerio.